So for today's video, Travis Kelsey's ex-girlfriend Maya Benberry, who he hasn't spoken to in over five years, is now in the media tour telling people he's a cheater and a narcissist and warning Taylor Swift about it. Just watch the video. She's the beauty who says she was betrayed by Taylor Swift's new boyfriend, Travis Kelsey. Like the saying goes, once a cheater, always a cheater. Maya Benberry dated the Kansas City Chiefs tight end in 2016. Certain qualities don't change in men. Um, I feel like Travis is a narcissist, so most narcissists don't change. Their romance started when she was a contestant on the e-dating reality show, Catching Kelsey. Maya beat out 50 other women vying for Travis's heart. She says they dated for eight months before it all came crashing to an end. You thought you were going to marry him? I did. Were you in love with him? I was. <laughs> he met my parents. I had a key to his penthouse. To me, that means that you're pretty serious. Did he cheat on you? Yes. The 31-year-old life coach says she learned about his indiscretions on social media. And now she says she's not sure if Kelsey's romance with Taylor Swift is for real. The only reason that I question the genuineness of the relationship is because he's talking to the media a lot. Maya says she's been getting death threats from Swifties who think she's trying to destroy the budding romance. How do Swifties react to you? Swifties are aggressive, very negative, very hypocritical. It's really crazy to me that someone that I think is you know, positive and really nice, has such a negative and angry fan base. How do you feel about Taylor Swift? I don't know Taylor Swift, but I'm a fan of her music. You know, I don't feel any way about her dating Travis. It's cute. I mean, I had him first, so. The narrative is you're a bitter ex-girlfriend who's out for her 15 minutes of fame. How do you feel about that? I'm offended because Five years ago when I said the allegations about cheating and when I talked about that we were together for eight months, his camp and team and even himself, he didn't say anything about it. I do feel a way because I did like you. I felt like I fell in love with you. It's nothing about Taylor. It's more about you led me to believe that we had a future. And now five years later, you're laughing and I feel like you're mocking me. I'm not jealous or bitter about Taylor. She's beautiful, she's successful, we're in two different lanes. My issue is more with Travis in the sense of now you're trying to turn me into, I don't know, a bitter person, or a liar, like I'm delusional, and I'm the furthest thing from that. You know why her coming out now is crazy? She never said anything when Travis Kelsey was with Kayla Nicole, but all of a sudden he got with Taylor Swift, and she just got to ruin it no matter how long it's been. And the funny thing about it is, their relationship didn't even last a year for her to be doing all that. And guess what? She's a life coach now, so imagine what she's telling her clients. When she did this interview, she thought people was going to side with her. But if you go on social media right now, she's being dragged for it. And now people are calling her a better ex. And she deserves it because she's doing way too much. I think someone should tell her that this happened almost 10 years ago. And it's maybe just time for her to move on. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.